It's time for another Saute Saturday. All right, guys, so we are back to do another Instant Pot recipe, and this is creamy shells and beef, and I'm so excited about this recipe because I love Hamburger Helper, but I don't really wanna buy the box mix. So this really was an amazing substitution. So here's what you're going to need. So we're gonna need our trusty Instant Pot, and then we're just gonna need just a tiny bit of olive oil. We're gonna need some pepper, some Italian seasoning, some salt, some granulated garlic you're going to need some heavy whipping cream you'll need some ground beef you need some parmesan cheese a onion that we're going to dice up a full 28 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce and your favorite pasta so basically they just want you to start off by putting this on saute adding in a little bit of olive oil and then adding in that diced onion and ground beef and getting that all cooked up before we set the rest of the ingredients so first i started out by dicing the onion and you just want to try and get it as fine as possible unless you like large chunks of onion and then once the instapot was good and hot I just added a little bit of olive oil let that heat up on that saute feature and then I added in the diced up onion and gave it a good stir until it was like slightly cooked and translucent after a few minutes I threw in my ground beef and then I just kind of tried to break it up a little bit. I will admit that it was still partially frozen, so it did take a little bit longer to saute this than it probably would have been. Uh, I did season it with salt and pepper and then, you know, continued to come back and give it a good mix for quite a few minutes. It probably took like a good uh, 15, 20 minutes, which is the entire length of time on the saute setting before the entire thing was good and brown and ready for the next step. So once that beef is all cooked through, we're gonna to start to add our dry seasoning. So you're gonna add in your garlic powder and your Italian seasoning. So now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients and the instructions are do not stir. So you're gonna add the pasta and then you're gonna add that full 28 ounce jar of uh, pasta sauce and then it calls for 28 ounces of water so I just filled that jar back up with water and poured that over the top and then you're gonna make sure that the pasta is tucked down underneath that water again not stirring and then we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna set it for high pressure for 15 minutes youtuber life guys i forgot to hit the record button when i was taking the lid off but you really didn't need to see me venting it but i did do a quick release and then i added in the parm cheese and the heavy cream and i gave it a good stir and then that was it i actually just let it sit for like five minutes to thicken and then we were good to go I will say this is one of the only downsides to this gasori pot. I'm not sure if it happens to the Insta pot as well. That inside pot doesn't stay still. So while you're turning it, it just spins around and around in a circle. And it's almost like a circus trying to get your food turned over. Here is my plate, you guys. This flavor was so spot on like I said I really love hamburger helper and this was like making it out of the box but you can do this with completely organic ingredients and not have to use something made like I said in a box so this was really delicious and we just coupled that with the garlic knots that I get from BJ's those ones that I cook in a bag and then the Caesar salad kit that we get from Trader Joe's and it was the perfect dinner we had a great family time at the table and we all really enjoyed it so please comment down below let me know if you try this recipe but I highly recommend it the link will be in the description box below and thank you guys all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and we will see you guys all next time. Bye guys.